In this video, we'll be discussing about finding the combined center of mass of different parts in an assembly. Over here, we have an assembly with five parts. We have four walls and a base. Say we want to find the combined center of mass of the gray and blue wall. One simple technique to do this is by combining these parts under one component and then finding their combined center of mass. Let's see how. We'll first create a new component. And once that's done, we'll click here. And now we will drag the walls in which we are interested one by one to the new component. So we'll drag the gray wall and then we will drag the blue wall. And now this component comprises of the gray wall and the blue wall. And to find their combined center of mass, we have to right click and then click on the properties. So here we have the combined center of mass of the gray wall and the blue wall. We can further create a point at the combined center of mass of these two walls for visualization and measurement purposes. We have made a separate video to show how to create a point at any given set of coordinates, which you can check for doing this. The link to that video is on your screen and in the description. In case you are wondering how to find the center of mass of the entire assembly, then all you have to do is right click on the assembly at top of the model tree and then click on the properties. And here we have the center of mass of the entire assembly. All right, that's all we have for this video. In case you found this helpful, then please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you haven't done that already. You can also click on the bell icon so that you receive a notification every time we upload a video. Thank you.